so Nickelodeon did a Nick News special, Kids Pick the President, which happens every four years during the presidential election. And uh, it seems that Joe Biden has won the kids' vote despite the bot cheating attempts, according to Variety, which is kind of strange, to, to say the least. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden has emerged victorious from Nickelodeon's 2020 Kids Pick the President Kids Vote, but even the mock election was not free outside of interference. According to a statement from Nickelodeon, cheating was first detected on October 21st after online forums were found to be discussing how to punctually vote on the Kids Pick the President website. After employing a voter certification tool, Nickelodeon identified that more than 100 30,000 bot generated votes have been cast and subsequently removed them. Biden received 53% of the kids' vote, and current President Donald Trump had 47%. Over 90,000 individuals cast a ballot from October 20th to October 26th, with one vote allowed per household device. Though kids are not of age, kids the president is a platform where their voices do count and they deserve to be heard. And just as kids value honesty and fairness, so do we at Nickelodeon, the network said in a statement. Therefore, I'll respect for kids everywhere, and in the spirit of civic responsibility, we represent we present the name of the winner based on votes cast fairly and within our stated guidelines of one vote per counted per household device. The results were real during the, the October 27th Nick News Kids Pick the President special hosted by Kiki Palmer. The special went over the basis of voting and gave kids a chance to vote the issues they care most about in the upcoming election, such as the COVID-19 response, racial inequality, and the environment. They also include performances from Young Dylan and appearances by Asher Angel, Tyler Ranks, Joshua Bassett, Bree and Nikki, Bella, Nicole Greer, Miranda Cosgrove, Stephen Curry, Sky Jackson, DJ Kelly, Liza Conti, Painless, Jace Norman, Cal Mitchell, Usher, and Manny Sukler. Nickelodeon's Kids Vote Initiative has been held during every presidential election since 1988 and is designed to raise kids' awareness of the electoral process. According to Nickelodeon, the kids have correctly chosen the next president in six out of the past eight elections. And the next video I have is a follow-up. I saw this stupid tweet from Joe Jorgensen and another stupid tweet from Elijah. Both Libertarians who think that kids shouldn't have a voice to vote at all. Yeah, I'm gonna have that as a follow-up video, which you'll probably probably see later today. So I will have that for you as soon as this one is already uploaded first. Thank you.